first of all, these movies nowadays are so long. I'm pretty sure even High School Musical number one was like an hour and 40 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure somebody will. But in an hour and 40 minutes, I didn't even get to see the play that they were auditioning for. Even like a segment of the play. Like nothing. You leave me at, Like literally, if you really think about it, the last thing they do is do a callback audition. All this hype about this play. For nothing. For nothing. Can we please talk about some of the characters in this show slash movie, whatever it is. The drama teacher. First of all, I've never, no one else I know has ever met a drama teacher who is just sending people to detention. Like, maybe all the drama teachers I've ever known in my life are just super nice, but all of them are super nice and super creative and they're usually like, free spirits like they created this drama teacher to be like kind of really mean which I get they were trying to like plot her against the dad coach slash coach man which I mean that's another story but um why is she so mean like I've usually drama teachers and art teachers in the school are like so nice like literally you have to do something fairly severe to be sent to detention and she's like seriously like a cell phone Nazi and like all these things which I do love that watching like something that like really brought me back to high school with like the flip phone cell phones I mean I don't know if I'm slightly older than when they did these movies but there were iPhones so I don't really understand these roads are really bumpy sorry but I don't really understand why they didn't use like at least the rich brother and sister should have had an iPhone or something but anyways so, I mean, I thought that was pretty good. Like, I, I did like how they did, like, the high school part. But, man, some of the characters, like, I just thought were just so off. Like, the drama teacher is usually, like, fun. Just my opinion. I guess if you had an evil drama teacher, please tell me about it. Because I've never met one. So, I don't know. Um, and then the dad slash coach. Um, I guess he was an okay character. The parents just seem super dumb. But all movies and TV shows do that. But... There's that scene where they're kind of convincing Troy Bolton that, like, you know, all of these legends of basketball that came from these wildcats, which is so funny because my high school mascot people were wildcats, too. Anyways, obviously, I clearly am into sports mascot people. Um, but anyways, my school mascot was wildcats, too. But um, these roads are so bumpy. Ah! But basically what I'm trying to say is they were trying to convince um, Troy Bolin that, like, he could be a part of this, these, like, amaz amazing legends, like, if um, he just gets his head in the game, right? Um, and they bring up his dad, like, for the very, like, last part, which I guess would be sentimental, like, oh, you want to follow? Oh my god, these roads are atrocious, like, what do we pay taxes for? Seriously. Okay, so they're trying to, like, do that. Dude, maybe it's sentimental because it's his dad, but a legend? Like, what he does now is he teaches high school basketball. He's a co he's a high school basketball coach. I mean, if you're really trying to convince Troy to stop singing because he can become some amazing legend superstar, I don't think his dad is an accurate representation. <laughs> of what his future could be like. It was just, I don't know, it was so weird. And then what's that kid's name? Oh God, what's the best friend? The guy best friend's name? The Dude, what is your problem? If you want it so bad, why don't you just be the captain of the team or whatever? I'm probably using all these sports references incorrectly. But like, if you like it so much, I was just like, if I was Troy Bolton, I would have been like, why don't you just be the captain? Like, I'm over this, bruh. Bra. You just seem so set on the fact that, like, Troy Bolton cannot do anything else but play basketball. What is he doing? And he's, like, flipping out about it. So, though, that's what I have to say about the characters. You guys thought I was over it. I'm not. I'm back. Um, I just had to work out. That's why my hair looks like it is now a nest for birds. And I also noticed that my car has a lot of background noise, so I'm gonna try to use my earbuds, see if that alleviates some of that. So, 
I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on to High School Musical 2, which I just watched last night. Okay. I thought, okay, I don't know if anybody else watched all these other ones, but I'm assuming if you got to hear that you watched the other ones. I was highly disappointed that I did not get to see the play that Troy Bolton and whatever the fuck Vanessa Huston, Hutchinson's character's name was, because I don't remember now, um, tried out for. I was like, okay, yes, High School Musical 2, they are going to do the play. Duh, duh, no. It's very clear from the very beginning of High School Musical 2 that it's about the summertime. So how you go from what I would consider mid-school year, since you're just like trying out, I was going to say practicing, but trying out for the play, you just skipped over to summer. We just totally missed the, the second half of um, school, but I guess that doesn't matter. And so now we're in summertime, and I just want to say how unrealistic. So, the blonde chick who's rich, if you haven't watched High School Music School, I don't know why you're watching this right now, but she gets Troy Bolton and everybody. Well, she just wants Troy Bolton to get a job at the country club her parents own. But Troy Bolton gets everybody else a job. She's not too happy about that. You know, um, anyways, I just, you know, and I know this about a lot of movies is the second movie just isn't as good, but I mean, I was already disappointed semi by the first one and it's lack of, of goodness. I don't know what to call it. I'm going to go into Dunkin Donuts cause I live on the East coast and Dunkin is life. Um, <clears throat> but High School Musical 2 was shockingly bad. I mean, I get it. I get what they were going for. You know, Troy's a different man. And he's being corrupted by these rich peoples because he wants a scholarship. Because he doesn't know who he is. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know what even the plot was. It was just a lot of music. A lot of, like, almost hanging, hanging out and not getting able to hang out. And she gives him back the necklace. So dramatic. I do like that the brother got a starring role. The rich boy brother. Um, I think he deserves it. And he's actually very successful. I think he still does like Broadway and stuff now. Which you can tell he's he's really good at what he does. So I was impressed by him. But I don't want to make this a million years long. Because I, there was not many good things to talk about High School Musical 2. Everybody looks older. Everybody looks like they're definitely not even in high school anymore. Um, besides Troy Bolton. So Zac Efron. I don't know when puberty hit you. But wasn't then. But Zac Efron. If I was Zac Efron. I could not even watch High School Musical 2. Without cringing extremely. Everything was pretty good. Pretty. Pretty good. Not, not great. Up until... His revelation, we'll call it. Whatever that song was, was trash. <laughs> like, trash. Whoever choreographed Zac Efron's little, like, beach montage jumping around scene, there was elements that was good. Elements of it. It was horrible. I mean, I was just like cringing with the blanket, like watching it. And I just thought to myself, I could never watch if I was if I was this person who had done this, I could never even watch this ever back. I would just cry of embarrassment. It was just horrific. He throws the sand. It's just like so horrific. So horrific. And um we were I was just like laughing and I was just like, how could Zach Efron ever even like watch this like watch it back like as as an adult because obviously he's an adult now I could never ever ever watch it back I would I would skip that part it was just so atrocious and it really ruined the whole movie plot for me um and then of course at the end it always ends in a happy ending so that's fine um but it was really hard to get through guys and I hear that there is a high school musical three I don't know if I'm going to watch it because, I mean, whew. but I will say all the high, all the ones I watched, the one and two, 
I did get extremely addicted and I was not stopping watching it. Like I had, I was invested in the plot from the very beginning and I had to watch it. So I'll give that, I'll give that to them.